spray some of, some of this so I smell good for the subscribers. These still work. It's not appropriate to sing Dangerous Women songs in these cat ears. Nope. I won't do it. Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm doing my entire Ariana Grande collection. The collection I've collected for over seven years now, six, seven years, maybe eight, I'm not sure, since 2011. Now, since 2010, I've been collecting all this stuff. I also just wanna put a disclaimer out there that I'm not trying to brag in any way. All this stuff I've collected for years and years with my own money I bought them, and I just genuinely really love Ariana, and I love supporting her whatever way that is and I love all this stuff and I use all this stuff all the time obviously so I'm really really grateful that I can have all this stuff um, but I'm just not trying to brag I just want to share with everyone what I have and what I've collected throughout the years okay with that being said um, let's just get started I put everything into piles so I have um, the Ariana like army pile before before I have a pile like before her first album came out then I have a yours truly slash honeymoon tour uh, pile and then I have a dangerous woman pile and then I'm also including like all her fragrances and lipsticks and bags and all that fun stuff so let's just get started okay first I'm gonna start off in the beginning um, before yours truly came out um, this is 2010 2011 area. This is when I met Ariana for the first time in my whole entire life I met her for free at Planet Hollywood in 2011 when put your hearts cup came out as her first single so um, First thing I'll show you guys is this phone case. This is an iPhone 4 case um, Ariana signed this for me the day that I met her um, at Planet Hollywood This is what it looks like um, I was online and Frankie was coming down. This is the first time I met Frankie too. I'll insert a picture here. It's from forever ago. Um, Frankie was on the line. It was a first come first serve basis. So I was like freaking out. Like I want, I, like I had to meet her. So um, luckily I did, but Frankie came down like the meet and greet line and he signed my phone too. Um, I literally asked him, I was like, save some room for your sister. And like he like barely did, but whatever. Um, and then I got up to Ariana and I met Ariana. She also signed my phone case and I never used this phone case since obviously because I didn't want to ruin it. So I got that. Um, I also got a poster that day that I will insert right here as well. The next thing I got during that era was this Ariana Army slap bracelet. Um, those things we just that and they slap on um i really don't wear this much but i don't know it's from it's really really old it's from a long long time ago so i have that then i have two of these shirts um i won one actually from clever tv on youtube and i bought one as well i don't remember when probably online or something um they're really old and they're really like almost torn apart these are the shirts i wear sometimes to her concerts like now and uh, it's really cool because she she remembers them. She calls them the fetus shirts. Um, this was before like tiny elephants were a thing, like a while ago. So this is this shirt. Um, it just says Ariana Army on it, and on the back it says oh no no it says official briefing on the heart, and then it says Ariana Army on the back. And I just have two of those shirts. Um, next, I have my very first crew neck ever from Ariana. Um, this is it. It's the Put Your Hearts Up one. So cute. I love it so much. It's like so big, which I love. Um, yeah, it's, it's super cute. I love it. The next thing I have is another bracelet. It just says Ariana Army, Put Your Hearts Up on it. It's like a rubber bracelet. I don't know. I love it. It's so cute. And then the last thing I have from that era is um this is the first t-shirt i ever bought at an ariana grande concert so this t-shirt is from the listening session store i went to go see her at best buy theater super old but this is the first concert t-shirt i ever bought from ariana super super old all these shirts are like kind of falling apart because they're so old but yeah that's everything from like that era the next era is the my everything slash honeymoon tour era so i'm gonna start off with this bracelet that i got from the honeymoon tour um it just says head in the clouds bracelet the rubber bracelet um i have the my everything vinyl obviously huge that i have um so now i'm getting into like some of the merch from the honeymoon tour 
Um, this jersey I got, it just says Grande on the back, the Bang Bang jersey. I have that. Um, I have this shirt, 2015, oh my gosh. Yeah, the Honeymoon Tour, 2015. I got this shirt from the Honeymoon Tour. Um, just a plain gray shirt. This is Honeymoon Tour on the back. This shirt. I also got this shirt from the Honeymoon Tour. This is the bubblegum one. With that, and this is what it looks like on the back. And then I got this white shirt for the strawberry on it. With the back. And then I got this crew neck, You're the Best Mistake I Ever Made crew neck from the Honeymoon Tour as well. So I'm like speeding through this, there's just so much stuff and I don't want to make this video too long. Um, the next things I got were still in the same era, but they were from Wet Seal. Um, I got this shirt, Going Steady, like it's 1954. And, oh wait, I got this at the Honeymoon Tour too. Um, this is like the bomber jacket, the lavender one, and it says Going Steady, like it's 1964. 54, what am I saying? 1954. Okay, also what I got from the honeymoon tour is I was VIP two times, so I have a white Ariana Grande string backpack, and I have a black Ariana Grande string backpack. Um, I have two VIP laminates from the honeymoon tour, and I have two glow sticks from the honeymoon tour. That, um, I try to do a thing where I try to get a glow stick every concert I go to, like anyone, whoever I go see. And um, not everyone has them anymore. I only have a Justin Bieber one and an Ariana one and a Selena one. Um, she didn't have one during the Danish Woman tour, so I couldn't get one. But I have two. There's little sticks that say Ariana Grande and just clouds on them. And then I have two pair of light up ears from the Honeymoon tour as well. Okay, so kind of in the middle between Dangerous Woman and the Honeymoon Tour, um, some of like the fragrances and stuff that she came out with. So I have one Sweet Like Candy bottle, and then I have um, four of the Ari by Ariana Grande ones. Um, I have the Hair Mist, and I have the Bubble Bath and the Coffee Scrub, but they're in my bathroom and I feel like getting them. Um, and then I have three lotions with that. Um, I got a free water bottle with the Sweet Like Candy one, and I also have um, like the Ariana pajama shorts that it, this came with, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the pom pom broke off of it. I don't know where it is, but I have that. Um, and then I have these bags that like, I still have the tag on this one that like the fragrances came with. Some of them, um, there's this white one, and there's um, this black backpack one. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I brought this to the honeymoon tour, like this bag bag. Next, I have um, the MAC collaboration she did. So I have um, her two lipsticks. I only have one lip gloss because to me, the, the lip glosses were kind of the same. And I didn't feel like spending like $18 on another lip gloss. So, and I don't really wear lip gloss. I'm usually always wearing matte. So I have these two matte um, lipsticks from her and the gloss. Okay, now we're getting into the Dangerous Woman era, which I love. I can't wait for this. I feel like I got a lot more stuff this era than I did the other eras, so I'm really excited. So first, um, I'll just go with what's in front of me. I have the Dangerous Woman Tour VIP hat I got. Then I have another Dangerous Woman hat from the pre-order bundle. Um, I have the pins that she got gave us, the Zero Fox and Bunny Ears one. I have some greedy money. I have my two VIP laminates, my Dangerous Woman bag, my Dangerous Woman albums, the vinyl, and I actually have two of these, one's in my car and one's here, and then obviously I have the one on iTunes as well, um, these. I have my signed poster from her. I have my giant balloon. Now getting into all the merch that I have and clothes and things I wear like every day. First I have... Um, this is from like Focus. When Focus came out, I have this Focus shirt. Um, I have this shirt from the concert. Looks like this. Um, I have this shirt from the pre-order bundle when James Woman was up for pre-order. Um, I got this shirt. It's just plain black and the James Woman logo. Um, I got this shirt at the concert. So this one's the same thing basically, but it has her name and it has the tour dates on it. So I have that one. I have this crew neck, this is what it looks like. I have this sweatshirt, which I wear every single day, all the time, and it's a problem. I have this crew neck. 
And last but not least, I have this jacket. Um, it's a, it has Ariana on, Ariana's name on it and the Dangerous Woman on the back. This came with the pre-order as well. And then I have all of my posters that I forgot to mention throughout the video. I'll put the Put Your Hearts Up one, the My Everything one up, the Dangerous Woman one up, the one I got from Tor, the RA Fragrance one up. I'll put all of them up so you can see them up close. and like speeded through I just didn't want this video to be a million years long and it's a lot of stuff and yeah I'm really hoping the dangerous woman tour gets um like extended like she extends her tour and comes back to New York because she did two days at Madison Square Garden that I went to but um, I'm wondering if she'll extend it and come back to Barclays in Brooklyn like she did for the honeymoon tour and did two days because if she does that um, I plan on buying more of dangerous women merch I want to get the black hoodie really really bad and a few more shirts maybe depending maybe she'll come out with more stuff who knows but I know for right now I want the black hoodie because um, the hoodies are super super soft I love them so so much and if she does come back I want to try to get my hands on another meet and greet with her so so yeah I'm hoping she extends her tour if not I could just buy it online it's not a problem um, obviously I don't have every single thing that she's ever put out to buy um, Obviously her things are really expensive, so I only get them if I truly truly love them and I know that I'll wear them. I don't like buying things that I'm never going to wear. Um, I do have a tradition that every single concert I go to I get like their tour shirt, just like their original tour shirt. Um, but I wear like those big t-shirts to bed and like things like that, but the Ariana merch I genuinely wear out all the time. So um, it's not like a waste of money for me. It is a lot, a lot of money and I always save up so much money from working. I've been working since I was 15 and I'm going to be 21 in a few months. So I've been saving up my money for a really long time. I do it for her because I love her so, so much. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and want more like it, just give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. It will be right here. Um, in my future videos, I am having a Justin Bieber giveaway soon, so keep tuned for that. Um, my Ariana giveaway that's going on right now doesn't end until May 13th, so check out my um, VIP experience video down below for a chance to win the greedy money. I'm giving away an extra VIP gift bag from the Dangerous Woman Tour and some shirts and some makeup from Kylie Cosmetics. So that's down below as well. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. That's what I like. That's what I like.